Earlier today, we had, in inverted commas, the slowest heats, and we nearly saw, for a while anyway, a new championship record. Kim Jun Woo, 15.01.94. So that's the time this will have to beat in the 1500. Filippo Batoni is in lane eight. Ryo Nakamitsu is in lane number one. Nathan Zobota of the USA goes in lane number seven. Bear in mind, there's only once two swimmers actually who've uh, gotten around the 15 minute mark. Luke Ellis, USA, will be in two. Zhang of China will be in lane number six. There will be two Turkish swimmers in this one. First of which is Emil Albarak. Vlad Sanku of Romania. He's in five. But if that championship record of Franco Grigic is going to go, might just go to the man coming through the curtain now. Guzzi Tancelli. He is the only sub-15 swimmer before today, that is. Abirak is right on it, so too is Stanku. And obviously we'll keep an eye on the, the world junior record, which is also the championship record, 14.46.09. There was a time today when Kim Junwoo was very close to it. Faded a little bit and didn't quite break 15 minutes, but 15.01.94 is the target time. If nobody goes faster than that, and they should. And Kim Junwoo from earlier on today would take the gold, but I suspect... That will not be the case. Some very quick swimmers in this 1500. <laughs> 30 lengths of this Natanya Pool. Nakamitsu of Japan in one. Ellis USA in two. Albirak of Turkey 3, Tuncelli of Turkey in 4, Sanku of Romania in 5, Zhang China 6, Zabota of the USA in 7, and Batoni of Italy in 8. Akimitsu has gone off very strongly up in lane number 1, and he and Tuncelli actually are level at the first turn. Third, Stanku, this is very early stages, but Always interested to see what they do as their opening gambit. So a reasonably fast tempo in the first hundred and then slow things down just a little bit. Kamitsu is giving both of the Turks something to think about early stages here. So they're going to open up with a 56-9. Right, now, I reckon they might step into a 59 routine now. Routine will obviously take it down towards that championship record of 1446. Too early to put that line in yet, I think, but we'll know a little bit more. They were just a bit slower than the championship record lead off there, but uh, got a long way to go yet. Just another 14 minutes or thereabouts. So, Jelly leads at 150, Stanku, then Nakamitsu then Albirak and then Ennis of the USA just kind of sussing each other out the number that comes up next will intrigue me and maybe inform me of what kind of form they are in 56.9 followed by 156.96 so that's a minute almost on the button for a minute from Tuncelli 
So that means they're going to have to speed up a little bit to get close to that championship record. And they've got plenty of time in which to do so. Tuncelli with Stanku and the other Turkish swimmer, Alberak, in third place. Did look like they might have put a little bit more in on that 50. What was it? It was 29.74 from Stanku there. So he's gone under 30 on that 50. This is why he's gone into the lead. So he's obviously thinking, right, I want to rep under the minute here. As he does so. So Toncelli responds at 200. 257. They've just slipped a bit outside the minute. Second is Stan Ku. Third is Albeirak. Fourth, Nakamitsu off that very swift opening. Finds himself back in fourth place. Now, as things stand, Kim Jun Woo still has a, a look in on a, a medal. 1501.94 from earlier today, but. I think his pace might get a little bit quicker. Still only repping 30s though. Nobody apart from that 150 under the 30. So we're going to be looking at 15 plus, which will bring Kim Jun Woo into the mix. Tuncelli in four, Stanku in five, Albirak in lane number three. Yeah, it's interesting. They're not breaking the minute on any of these hundreds so far. And as they get further and further out, Kim Jun Woo has a chance of winning this, not in the fastest heat. Intriguing. They're going to have to up the ante a bit, or else it's going to be in advance of 15. Tuncelli, is he going to get a 29 this time? Yeah, 29.97 though. 29.83, another 29 high from Stanku. Keeps him in second place. Alberak in third. Fourth, Luke Ellis now, with Nakamitsu falling back into fifth. Although it looks like a straight head to head between two swimmers, it's early stages, not even at the third way stage. We will be when they turn this time at 500. And that's a 4.57.56, yeah, again, right on the minute. Not getting under it, no 59s apart from the opening 100, which is 56.90. So as I say, Kim Jun Woo is still in with a chance of at least a medal, potentially winning it, which will be a, quite an upset. Thought uh, one of these eight would go inside 15. At the moment, they're not on course to do so. Tuncelli, half a second from Stanku, who's about two and a half seconds clear of Alberak. Still no 29s in that last 50. Every time it's over 30, it's bringing in Kim Jun Woo for a potential to win it. And he still could. Tuncelli, now at 600. 5.57.62 1 minute point zero six. Sanku he did a 29.91 there did uh, Tuncelli by the way but it needs to be a 29.5 really to start bringing it back because very soon it'll be 100 to the minute Tuncelli looking very strong and that's more like it, a 29.78. If he can keep repping at that, he'll get it back on course for a sub-15. Second is Stanku, third is Albeirat, fourth is Luke Ellis of the USA. And they're the only ones in the frame, although Nakamitsu is still hanging on there in fifth place. Tuncelli. Can he get another 29 here? Yes, that's better. That was a much better one. 
23. That was the first one inside 59 since the first 100. Stanku in second. Third, Alberak. Now, certainly the way things are looking now, Kim Jong Woo is going to get a medal because they're very much strung out three, four, and five. And I'm fancying the Korean to pick up at least a bronze here. Stanku now 30.62 is 3.36 behind Tunchelli. Third is Luke Ennis now, just moving above Alberak. Fifth, Nakamitsu. Sixth is Zhang. Right, where are we going to be at with our leader as he approaches 800 meters at 800? 7.57.23. Now, what was that one? That was a... That was exactly a minute from Toncelli, that last 100. So he hasn't made any improvement. Still on course of being under 15, but that championship record is not under any threat. Stanku in second, quite a way back now. And there's a long gap to third, which is now occupied by Luke Ellis. Toncelli again, 30-16. Stan. 39-1. I know we're going to get a burst at the end from Tunchelli, but it's not going to be speedy. It's not going to be rapid. Luke Ellis and uh, Nakamitsu having a good little battle in two and one. So 8:57:34. Not getting into the low 59s yet. And I've got to say, the way things are looking, Kim Jun Woo is going to get a silver here. Because Stanku's been dropped by the leader. Luke Ellis, Nakamitsu, and Albirak are way too far back to make up that kind of ground. Only swimmer is going to beat Kim Jun Woo, as things stand, is our leader. He's still repping around 30 per 50, 29.95 there. And Lee, though, is 7.4 over Stanku, who's got about five seconds over Luke Ellis. Right, 8.57 it was last time. 9.57 now. I'm going to be bold here and predict that Kim Jun Woo is going to get the silver medal and not even be in this race. I think Tun Chelly will have enough to win it overall, but uh, Kim Jun Woo is in that second slowest in inverted commas heat earlier today. Is going to get silver. So he won't finish his second here. We'll pick up third place in effect. Uh, I'm not convinced about Tuncelli breaking 15 even now. Because he's not doing 29s, he's doing 30s, and every time he's just edging back above a minute per 100. Stan Koo is 9.27 back. Then there's nothing really between Nakamitsu, who's moved into third, and Luke Ellis, but that third place is not going to get a medal. Third place is not going to get a medal here because they're going to be too far behind Kim Jun woo That was actually quite slow by Tun Chelly. I think that was a 60.5. So he's right on 14.58 territory now. Hasn't got a much room for manoeuvre in terms of dropping time. Now, the Romanian's still second, but you can see how close Nakamitsu and Ellis are. To potentially overtaking Stan Koo. 30.14 to Chile, losing a bit more time. Under the 60, unless he can come back in the 29. Stan Koo second. Nakamitsu in third place. Fourth is Yang. Five is Ellis. Here comes Tunchelli. And that, again, was over the minute. 
11.58, 46, he's losing a bit of time against the minute, every time. Stanku, Nakametsu, Zhang, Ellis in fifth, Albirak in sixth. So Jenny's going to win this by quite a distance. The question is, oh, 30.8. Now, do you know what? I'm still thinking that 15 minutes may not be broken here because he's getting slower. No worries about him winning it, I don't think. 12.74 between our leader and Stanku. And now Zhang has come from nowhere into third place. Not even mentioned Zhang Zhan Shuo so far. Toncelli is struggling here to get inside 15. He's not going to, do you know what? This is intriguing. Kim Jun Woo still has a chance of potentially winning this. I know there's only 200 to go and he should find a sprint finish, but it's going to be mighty close. He's not going to break 15. The wavings are going. Keep an eye on this, see whether he does another 30 plus. Yeah, 30.80 for Tuncelli. This is going to get mighty tight between him and Kim Jun Woo, unless he can put a sprint in over the last 100. Zhang now up to second place. Where has he come from? He's repping 29.9 per 50. Not going to catch our leader because there's only 100 to go. But he's going to be outside 14 minutes here. Wow. Well, it's going to come back in a 60.6 to take it, which I think he will. I'm sure he will, but it's going to be a bit tighter than it should have been. Zhang in second is going to get, in effect, the bronze medal. Nakamitsu up into third in this race but fourth overall now Toncelli got to be under 30 here for this fit always oh, 30.42 I thought he'd speed up he hasn't now he's got to do 30.3 in this last 50 or Kim Jun Woo wins it Toncelli needs to really speed up here 15.01.94 was Kim Jun Woo's time it's close, I think he's just got it he has, and he just sneaks under the 15 that was torture I think for Toncelli because he nearly threw it away Zhang gets second, which will be third in effect and Nakamitsu has finished third, which means though he thinks he's got a medal, he won't have one. Because Tim Kim Jong woo has gone quicker than both the Chinese and the Japanese. No doubt about our winner, although there was for a little while. Kuzi Tuncelli. Woo! Just got the job done by sneaking under. 15 but you know there was still a question mark over that until the last 50 14 59 80 for our winner and that's going to mean Kim Jung Woo is going to get the second place with 1501 94 remarkable race we will have to give you all the times of all the competitors from the earlier heats before we hear from our winner. Who must have been a little bit concerned. He got a 28.15 out when he needed it, right at the very end. Had it been a 30 plus, he could have uh, found himself in the silver medal position. As it is, Tunchelli is the gold medalist. In doubt, though, until that last 50 meters. So there you go. Kim in second, Zhang in third. Nakamitsu, although he finished third, finishes fourth overall. 
And these are the other swimmers involved in the earlier heats. And in just a moment, we'll be on the Cam Cam with Kuzi Tuncelli, who just, just broke 15 minutes. Much tighter, I'm sure. We'll find out exactly what the Turkish swimmer has to say. Our new 1500 meters freestyle champion is ready to give his thoughts on a very tight finish with Cam Nation. An amazing finish there in the 1500 metres freestyle, especially with the fastest heat this morning, making it an incredibly close finish. Kuzay Tincelli is our new world champion in the 1500 metres freestyle after winning the 800 earlier in the week. Kuzay, how does it feel? Thank you for everyone. It's an incredible race. Uh, I'm so happy right now. Thank you, Kuse. He only turned 16 on Sunday and he is now a two time world junior champion. Ladies and gentlemen, from Turkey, it is Kuse Kutatincelli. I think our interpretation is he managed to absolutely snatch that. From Mitzin right at the very end. Mitzin was tiring, there's no doubt about it, but somebody has to take advantage. And it was he. Now, this is an interesting one because we have medalists from two different races here. That doesn't often happen in swimming, but as I mentioned earlier in the day, there was a lightning fast swim by Kim Jun Woo, and that proved to be good enough to get silver medal. So the top three in the fastest heat were not the fastest three. Third place was Zhang Zhanchuo, who, uh, like his uh, teammate, came through with quite a burst at the end to take the medal away from Nakamitsu. Well, he swam, what? seven hours ago something like that and uh, very nearly broke 15 minutes 1501.94 took a massive amount of time off his PB and it was in doubt until the last 50 as to whether Tuncelli would go faster put in a massive last 50 to get under 15 minutes and it will be an is a second Turkish gold for Kuzi Tunceli, but that was in doubt right until the very end. So Zhang finishing second, but gets the third because of Kim. Uh, Kim Jun Woo for his uh, work at lunchtime today. 1501.94 gets the silver medal. It's thrilled with it, no doubt. Thought at one stage he was going to get into the 1459 territory, and that might not be too far away. The man who did find 15 or well, the 1459 that he required to win it is the Turk. Tuncelli, Kim, and Zhang. One, two, three in the longest race in the program. The 1500 meters freestyle, and we'll hear for Tuncelli once again the Turkish national anthem. Please stand for the national anthem of Turkey.
I'm sure that their hearts were in their mouths for a while as they saw him in getting splits of over a minute per hundred. Desperate to get into the 59s and uh, he had to come back with a 28 to get inside the 15 minutes. That was good enough to steal that gold away from Kim Jun Woo. Zhang finishing in third place. Four more events to bring to you before we conclude. A 50.